Hey everybody, it's Ravenwise. Welcome to my channel. So, for those that don't know me, I am a witch, I'm an astrologer, I'm a happy little heretic. And today I'm going to do a little video about the moon and witchcraft under the moon. So, for me as a witch, uh, the moon is the symbolic representation of the goddess. If she is happy or sad, I'm going to see it in that moon. And I feel... Uh, with the, you know, with the moon phases, I get a sense of how I will honor the goddess and how I will um, manifest spells. So it's a really important part of worship and also operative magic, at least for me as a witch. Now, I'm not any authority on the subject, but um, I just thought I would do this video and just share some things and share some observations about the moon and its phases. But before I get into this, I will tell you that I, whenever I do a video about anything lunar, uh, life always intervenes. Like anything that represents the moon, like you can hear my son, uh, you know, laughing and, you know, over in the other room, like besides this one, like, you know, the childhood is represented by the moon. So whenever I'm talking about the moon online, um, something will happen, like someone will lock on the window or family member will come in or someone will say, hey, I need you to do this, you know, because the moon is associated with the familiar. And so it's no surprise that it starts intervening whenever I start talking about it, you know? It's almost like one of those little symbolic things, you know, those little synchronicities that happen in life, just to let you know that, um, do you know, there is a, there is this, um, uh, you know, unknown side of life that can hear you and can operate and move with you. And that's one of the most important things with the moon, because I can see the moon, I can see her, I can see the goddess, and I can see how she is manifesting, how she is affecting public opinion, how she affects our psyche. I always find whatever the moon is traveling through, if you look around you, you can see how people are behaving. And if you like astrology, and I know it's a big topic, but if you look at where the, the moon is um, considered by the ancient astrologers to be strong or weak or strong or challenged, you can make your plans accordingly, you know, and you can also manifest your spells if you want to bring um, love or money or uh, you want something to grow or something to birthright. If you're birthing something, you're going to need the cooperation of the moon in the in the waxing cycle and in the waning cycle, witches can use that to get rid of something, especially if you're part of a cursed tradition. That's your time to remove things, okay? Okay. Uh, so it's powerful. It gives us a good indication, at least if you believe in the occult or if you believe in witchcraft, it gives us as witches a real indication of what is gone before us and what is coming. And so it's a, it's a good way to, to see time. And if you get into the philosophy of the lunar mansion, which I've mentioned the lunar mansions on my previous videos, you can draw down the energy of the lunar mansion in a talisman to wear around you and use that um, energy from the moon to make things manifest in your life or to protect you or others. I mean, the, you know, whenever a person feels discouraged in their craft or feels lost or feels alone, you can look at the moon and feel inspired. It is the closest celestial body to the earth. And the our, the, our ancient ancestors um, and ancient magicians that have practiced always felt this real need to observe it. And not necessarily on a solar level. Like, do you know, you can't rationalize the moon. All you can do is experiment with it and get to know it and understand it. It's a real knowing. Uh, it's not always going to do what you want. Okay, that's not what the moon is about. The moon is about this connection between matter and spirit. Um, the moon in the for the ancient astrologers brought down the other pure planetary um, energies into it and dispersed it on Earth. And so whenever the moon moves close to a certain conjunction of a planet, it can bring down that energy to your experience, either in the masses of people, uh, through politics, through family life, through health and disease, because, of course, the moon is associated with your physical body. 
very, very associated with the physical body. If you want to understand, at least through the spiritual art of astrology, what someone's physical body is all about, look at what sign it's in. Okay, that tells you a lot about some of their ailments that they will experience, their psychology, and the depth of who they are as a human being. You can find a lot out from the moon. A lot of our astrology is very lunar focused, or sorry, very solar focused. It should be lunar focused. Um, always go back to the moon, the familiar moon that most of the times you can see at some phase in the sky. Uh, it brings that sense of, do you know, um, it, just think like how powerful it is to know that centuries and centuries ago, you know, before the seven day work week, before bosses that wanted to know your every move, uh, before micromanagement, um, before everybody needed the latest uh, doodad, uh, before electricity, um, before a lot of things, that moon provided light life gave uh, gave gave us a sense of um you know you could see people growing during the waxing stage of the moon and what they were growing and people used all the folklore of the moon to guide them in so many places in life for you know for thousands of years right and do you know there's some of that tradition that is preserved through what we we do as witches and um you know there's a lot of people that write the folklore about it the one thing about it is that it provides such a it's such a, uh, what can I say, um, an important relationship, right? You're never alone under the moon, under the goddess moon, under the witchcraft moon. You're never alone. Um, you know, you're never bored. There's always something to do depending on the phase. You know, if you don't know what to do with your craft, look at the phase, right? And see, see your ancestors or your spiritual world or your familiar, or your goddess through that phase and bring that phase into your life and see, see it manifest and see how it makes an impression on your psyche and your spirit, right? In your spiritual life. See how by manifesting, looking at that phase, even if you don't know anything about astrology, look at the phase, look if it's growing and go under there and think about what the goddess is doing under that phase um, is she growing under that phase or is she removing under that phase? Is she bringing something into your life or, you know, not what's happening with public opinion in the world? Because, of course, the moon represents the people and the public. Look for the moon and you will look right into the eyes of a meaningful, important, magical life. What I like about the moon is, and the moon phases is I like drawing down the energy. I think it really does improve my craft. And because a lot of it is operative magic, but not all of it. Do you know, I do like to just look up at the moon and be fascinated by its beauty. Um, with eclipses, I've often been asked by people how I feel about eclipses. I don't like them. Uh, to do things I've, I've seen um, witches on YouTube do love magic under eclipse and I'd be like oh my god I, I, I don't want I don't want to find out how that relationship works I tend to have very traditional views when it comes to eclipses the nicest thing I can say about them is that they could intensify a part in your natal chart but we don't know exactly how <laughs> it's it could be an incredibly intense experience so for example people with sagittarius that is uh, you know really emphasized in the chart we just had an eclipse um, a partial lunar eclipse in sagittarius and so you can ask yourself a question like what you know how is that affecting you you know look at the eclipses and how they affect you personally it could give you an idea of what to expect now um, the moon for me is, there is such a physical, um, situation going on with the moon. So I always look at how my health is, Do you know, if I'm feeling really down, I look at the phase and I understand that, Do you know, and I, I, this is where I, where you can get strength, body strength from the moon. You know, look at the phase of the moon. You're feeling very sick or down, um, you know, and the moon is waning. You'll know that as the moon changes, your energy will increase after the new moon. Okay. So for example, if I'm feeling like, okay, I just don't have any energy. It's a waning moon. It's like, okay, I'll, I'll catch up. I'll catch up on the waxing cycle. Do you know? The moon forgives. 
and the moon remembers because the moon is about blessings and it's about the past, our, our ancestors, um, people in the past. So the moon is something that is uh, so magical and so divine. Um, it scared a lot of, of people, um, you know, um, especially, um, it, you know, uh, the old church folks um, during the, you know, the switch over from Christianity into, uh, sorry, from paganism into Christianity, because of course, during those ancient times, in Europe especially, um, the moon always was the queen for many, many uh, pagan European cultures. You know, when Europeans were pagan, the moon was their queen and had rich symbolism and uh, could was seen as a living thing that interacted with her people. Do you know, it scared the church a lot. And so a lot of, uh, you, know, the, you know, church leaders during the times, uh, the burning times, you know, the witchcraft trials, demonized the moon and gave the moon a bad name. But the moon has always been seen as this powerful um, divinity. It has a type of energy. It it gives us signs about our body and our family and how we will grow and how we will die. Because, of course, it's always about generation and corruption. You know, the ancients saw it as the symbol of uh, growth and death and um, humans understood its power and you know copied its energy and its phases and planned for those things do you know so there's just so much to say but I just wanted to sort of pull up to YouTube and just talk about the things that I love about the moon and uh, maybe I'll talk some more about it depends on depends on what phase I'm in <laughs> Okay, I hope that you're all well and I'm going to be uploading more videos. Blessed be.